And hello everybody, we are back with episode 5 of Old Man Gingerbeard's Let's Play Minecraft, Minecraft Let's Play. And here we are, sitting on top of our little baby mine shaft that we put together. Basic, our first little entrance here. So, as you can see, I've got some dark oak in my hands, some planks. Which means I've been working on the Viking house. And remember last time we got to talking and we were thinking, hmm, it's not big enough. We need to make it bigger, right? So, yeah, let me show you guys what I've been doing so far, and we'll see, you know, what you guys think. Now, there's a lot of work left to do, but what I've done so far has taken me a long time. So here we are, right here. Oh, that's right there. <laughs> so just to kind of give you a little bit of perspective, I left the first little house, kind of how it was, like the roof right there. So that's how big it was initially. We were like, oh, we'll just go ahead and make that be the front and then we'll make it longer on the side, right? Well, as you can see, I've taken that roof and I've gone really high up. Now, it looks kind of bland. Let's go ahead and go over here. Oh. And it looks kind of bland. It's just a bunch of dark oak planks. I understand. But give it time. It'll have uh, the same look like that over there with the stairs and everything else. Hey, pig. But I've kind of given you a little bit of a thing. We're going to do that with the walls so that we can have them on the outside but look like they're stable and that they're holding everything together. So right there, that thing now, okay, so you see it from a distance, right? Let me show you just how high this thing really is because it, it's up there. Now, it's not the tallest thing in the world, but... Those are two blocks, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows up. And there's going to be another two blocks above that. So, but yeah, that is crazy. It took me forever. Let me show you guys this over here, too. The pattern that was simple that we were going to use, the stone pattern. Oh, is it getting dark out? It is getting dark out. Or it could be that I'm just sitting in here. It took me forever to get this pattern to line up. I actually ended up having to put this out, another block here, and I kept messing it up all the way up. So there's a certain way you got to do it. So you got to lay the stairs. So you got to, you know, I'll just, well, let me sleep real fast here. And then I'll show you to take stairs, upside down stairs, right side up stairs, block, and then rinse, repeat the whole way. And... It's kind of boring to sit there and do that. Oh, come on. Who's ever heard of going to bed a little early? There we go. There we are. So, yeah. I've messed up the pattern. See, the pattern is supposed to go... Here, I'll just show you down here. I'll make a... I'll make a little thing here. So that's the block, right? Let's get some stairs, planks, and blocks. So initially, you put put a plank right there like that, right? Then you get some stairs. You come over here, and you make it upside down. Cool, right? Then you got to get on top. Yep. Oh. Once you're on top here, I do this right? Yes. Then you do that. Then you go like that. You put another block on top of it like this. Or like that. Like that. And then another block and so on and so on and so on until you just can't stomach doing it anymore. So then when you get out here, it gives you this kind of long planky look that would extend up to a roof so it gives you that long slope on the side without looking like our other one over here which is just all stairs so that's what you're supposed to do that's what i had to do that all the way up now most people do the math build it ahead of time do things in a test world to make sure that they're going to be able to replicate this on a large scale when they get uh, out here and they get on camera and I didn't do that I just said oh it can't be that difficult it's the same little pattern right after that right I spent four hours 
building that thing up, taking it down, building it up, taking it down, lining it up, taking it down again, realizing that I got a half of the pattern correct and to take half a wall. Ugh. It's been a hassle. Oh, and as you can see, I've got some enchantments. So I decided to put the AFK zombie farm to work a little bit here and it's come, it's come in handy. That once we get this done, at least the initial outside, because the inside, there's going to be so much room for, for activities <laughs> in here. There's just, I mean, I'm going to have probably four, four or five levels all the way at the top, plus an attic level. Various different things in there. Might make a chicken farm up there some way. But once we get the initial roof done and the walls, we get it looking halfway decent on the outside. I'm going to take a break from it. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to work on our zombie farm. Because right now, we just have a farm in the middle of an area. We need to clear everything out around it, open it up, build it into a nice little area so that we can sit there and have a decent, decent time doing things. So, you also may notice that the graphics quality from the last video to this video is very, very... Well, I should say it's much better. I went out uh, and spent some money. And because I spent money, I've got new graphics card, new computer, basically. I just went out and I bought a new computer. Because I felt, you know, if I'm going to do this, I need to produce the best that I can. And also, it makes rendering videos so much easier. But I saw those over there. Now I missed those last time. Look at those two mountains. That's going to be something cool. It's going to be able to put something on top, maybe one mountain, like one castle over here, one castle over here, with cannons battling each other out, you know. It's like left side, right side Twix, right there. So, a lot of cool things. A lot of cool things, a lot of potential builds, a lot of ideas, which is good, because when you're building a, a Minecraft Let's Play, most people just try to get all the farms they can possibly get. Gold farm, iron farm, ender farm, everything. But, no, you got to... You gotta pace yourself. You gotta take your time on things. Cause if you burn yourself out, you're gonna be you're just gonna be in a bad time. But let me just go ahead and, and scroll up and always scroll up, but let me just just set myself up here so you can see just how high is this uh, yeah. That's the top right there. Now we're eye level with over there, we can see over the forest, we can see everything over here. Now, I thought what we would do this episode, instead of me sitting out here and trying to, to find the, like, finish this up, let's go do a little bit of exploring. Let's go see what's out. You know what? I have a shovel. I should just use a shovel. Let's go see what's out there. Let's check out some of these more, these other worlds over here. And since my base is built right next to spawn, all I got to do is bring a compass and we'll never get lost. So, literally, I think I'm built right on spawn. Yeah, I gotta light all this up underneath here. Monsters love to spawn under there. So let's offload some stuff here and then let's go do some exploration. I'd like to find a dog. I wanna I wanna find a dog. Now I don't have any bones for this, so let's go ahead and do that. I got steak, I got carrots, I got yeah. Cow farm's working nicely. Let's see, should I we should go get some coal. Okay, let me get some stuff together here so that we can we can go ahead and start doing some exploration here safely. So I'm going to make some, some torches and a few other things, and then we're just going to pick a direction and go. Because it's, it's time. It's time to go do some stuff and check out the area and just look and see how the seed came out. Yep. Oh, hey, guys. Coming along quite nice. There was about two, two to three times as many that were in there, but uh, brought out my <laughs> terribly, my terrible sword. Oh man, I sat down there for 20, 25 minutes before I got that because the new mob crabbing, cramming thing is just ridiculous. I mean, it, it, we're really going to have to go in and work on that farm because we we're really going to need to set that up to where we can have more than just... 25 mobs on a block. I'm, I'm going to turn around and do that that one thing where they have 5 to 10 little shoots and they are all separated by redstone and redstone ladders 
to hoppers. Yep, you hear them already in there. <laughs> Devilish little creatures. And also, we got enough apples. What we should do is we should make some golden apples. So, can you guys hear me? Let's do this. Let me go ahead and turn down There's music and sounds. Let's drop this down to about there. Just the train track or the minecart sounds really loud, so I'll listen to it again and see. If we can't hear anything, I'll just cut that part out. But uh, Let's see here. Do this. Uh, we need to do some more mining. Our stores are getting quite, quite low. Boop. There we go. That's enough for a decent setup here. Um, do I have any wool on me? I think there's some upstairs. There's some bones there. Yeah, we should make some golden apples. We should also get a brewing stand and make some weakness potions so that we can find... I mean, we got a zombie spawner. See if we can grab uh, grab a villager zombie and start that whole thing. Because if you can't find a village, find a villager zombie. Trap them. Change them. And then turn around and use them to start everything that we need. Oh, I thought we'd grab these here. Oh! There was more. We got six. Okay. That way, if we find a pup, we'll tame him, bring him back. Also, get I'll go up to the mid-level, grab my fishing pole, and get some raw fish. So, yeah, we'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff ready so that we can get this uh, show on the road. All right, we are back, and I went ahead and I got some stuff together. I got eight fish just in case we need it. I picked up some seeds in case we come across a jungle biome, in which case then we can get some parrots because that would be cool. Um, I'm bringing the fishing pole along just in case. I got the cobblestone, your dirt, your basic supplies, and my compass. Even though this little guy right here points to spawn all the time. So we go over this way. See how now the red line, the red line has changed. Same with that. So you kind of always have a compass on you at all points in time. Just a lot of people don't know about that one with the changes. But let's go ahead and pick a direction here. So I thought, you know what? We know that's obviously. Well, you know what? Let's just take the boat. Let's take the boat and try not to rock the boat because you don't rock the boat. And let's go ahead and just. Just go, my terrible dock that is in desperate need of an uh, aesthetic upgrade. But let's let's see if I can steer a boat. Let's see. Boop. And there we are. Okay. I'm going to go out here and just do some exploring. So I realized, I think it was either last episode or the episode prior, I made mention that I wanted to talk about uh, politicians and stuff like that that got shot recently. Oh, looks like I've been out this way. Some politicians that got shot recently um, here in America. And it was somebody who claims to be a Bernie Sanders supporter, which why a Bernie Sanders supporter decided that they were going to go and act violence on somebody else is beyond me because Bernie's not about the violence. So anyway, he, he shot the Senate Majority Whip. Now, if you're not familiar with him, he's kind of like the guy who... They go to when they have a, a rogue individual within there. Oh, eh, someone's cooking. When you have somebody in your party, whether you're Democrats or Republicans, because let's face it, America loves to be a two-party system, and that person gets everybody in line. He's supposed to be kind of a kind of a hard dude. Ooh, oh, okay. That is awesome. So that is a witch hut. Which is awesome because it's got enough flat land around it to where I can probably... I wonder if there's anybody home. It didn't render very well, did it? Is it about to go dark already? Jeez. Alright, we know where it's at. Let's go, let's, let's quickly go back and sleep here. That... That is awesome. Now I can set up a witch farm. We can get glowstone and redstone and bottles and sticks and everything else. And 
since we're next to an uh, since we're next to a swamp biome, we can get slimes. Now slimes are going to be key because we need slime blocks and furnace eye to make the. I should have just brought the bed with me. You know, I'm going to do that. We'll sleep. I'll bring the bread. Bring the bed. Oh, that's looking good. I can't wait for that to be finished. You're going to come around the corner, see this giant dragon head, and giant Viking thing, and you know you're in for it then. Oh, come on. And I love how boats don't break on you now. Used to be you'd hit a lily pad or a squid, and then that boat would shatter into four pieces of wood, a couple sticks that you so shatter into materials that cannot be used to <laughs> that cannot be used to rebuild the 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 boat naturally. So then you were stuck, you had to punch some wood and stuff, but let's go check out that farm real fast. Oh hey Skellington. Oh if I had a name tag I'd name tag him so he'd be my security. Oh he's gonna I expect him to start shooting. Boat mechanics are nice, though. These things are scooting by. Hey, Creeper. That's awesome. We found a witch hut. So close to base, too. That means we can go back to base. And Ah, oh, that's so awesome. Sorry, guys. That, that excites me. I like making witch hut builds. I don't much care for caving. Because <laughs> caving kind of sucks, but... And I set it up to where you can't cheat, so I don't think you can use game mode mechanics on this. So it's going to be old school. There's not going to be... It's right here, wasn't it? Ah, right here. How did I not see this? I was just over in this area. Let's see. Hello? Anybody home? Okay. Doesn't appear to be anybody home. Let's super stealthily. Ha. Well, let's do this here. Boop. <laughs> So, cauldron, crafting bench, tons of chicken. Okay. Now that we know that's there, that's going to be super nice because that's going to make things so much easier. Witch huts, they spawn only witches. So, from the level here. So, this ground level here and this level up here spawns witches. So, if you can... Set it up to where we can set like a little drop system in here where they fall down the center, they die, we go down to the bottom, we collect. Best place to stay FK is like 20, 28 blocks up above there. Yes. Normally these things have the oak that come down all the way here. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so excited that, that we found that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a hard build. It's going to take a while to, to do it, especially in a survival world, but... Let's uh, let's carry on. So we know there's a witch hut back there. And let's see. Mm. So we know we go around that way. It's just that way around there. Yeah, I don't care about lily pads. Now the just picking them up. Yeah. <laughs> so that that way's well. There's obviously the base. It's another good thing about that. Let's uh, let's go this way. Let's ooh. Let's go check out. Looks like there's uh, some plains over here. Looks like there's an oak forest over there. There's a tag up. Looks like up there. I wonder if we can find like a mushroom biome. Biome. Bi biome. Jeez. That's crazy. Look at that forest, man. That's super thick. Oop. Oh, text message. <laughs> should probably see who that is before they I should probably silence my phone there we go yeah all right look at this rendering up rendering is complete 
So we're going to go ahead and park right here. Boop. Okay. Uh, we've all seen Plains Biomes before, right? Ain't nothing special here. But I like this Birch Biome. Oh. Thought maybe it might be a ravine. Moo. All right. We're going to kind of work our way. I saw some spruce that way, so let's work our way back that way. Oh, getting a little lag, probably from rendering blocks and chunks and stuff. Okay. Now, the trick is going to be remembering where the boat is. But we don't necessarily always need the boat. Since we have a compass on us, we can just go ahead and make it back. Now, I'm going to need a lot more oak, so it's nice to know that there's an oak farm here. These big trees just give you a stack. It's so beautiful. Uh, there we are. Look, that's a spruce biome over there. Check it out. A lot of sheep. I'm looking for Tyaga because I want the wolves. I want I want some some furry buddies. Let's see. Oh, I'm surprised I can even swim with all this gear on. I finally found... Oh, they broke. Never mind. I was going to say, I finally... Uh-oh. We got some lava down here. It's burning down a house. Burned down a tree. Ooh. Well, those trees went down. Hmm. Oh, some rabbits. Okay. Get a rabbit farm. Man, wood just doesn't take it. Right next to the... Oh, let's get some... Oh, no! What are... Oh, oh, poor buddy. Whew. Yeah, you about died, bud. Is that going to light the grass on fire? Hmm. Anyway, let's start diving in here. I'm so glad it doesn't spread to burn all everything down. It used to be you could burn down an entire forest by starting a fire on just one tree at the end of it. I don't know how many times I've spent like trying to put out forest fires because somebody on the multiplayer server decided they were going to put a lava display, which lava displays are cool, you know. You can put them underneath and make it look like you're walking on molten lava. Some sheep. Oh, what's this? Ravines. Oh, that's a great sheep. I should get some shears. I didn't bring any iron. Look at that. That's a cool thing I, I really enjoy with this game. It's just, you, it, you're so close to different areas. Okay, that's just beautiful. That's a long drop. Let's go this way. So we've got our bed and stuff out here. So if we get lost, we're fine. We'll just sleep. The goal is going to be not to die, though, because I have a feeling if we do die out here, we're done. <laughs> no way I'm getting back to get my stuff. Remember we, where it's at. Oh, hello. Okay. There's a lot of rabbits. I don't know if you can tame rabbits. Probably not. It's probably just you got to capture them with... Uh, a thing. Seeds. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Nice little cave entrance. 
that'd be cool to build some sort of like dwarven society dwarven civilization right there's an entrance just this giant stone brick wall and man what is going on with the lag what's this about it's not supposed to be lagging nice little water waterfall hmm snow's up on top we should probably climb some chickens a lot of chicken Is that a rabbit? Yep. Oh, crap. Yeah. Nope. Oh, careful now, bud. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it is a ravine. Okay. I like how this isn't doing anything. That's pretty cool. All right, let's find our way around. We're going to be getting a bunch of these flowers and starting to grow some of these flowers because we're going to need them for dyes and everything else. We need to uh, find something that's like a dark, nasty green because I want to make the uh, Witch King Agmar's home, that like nether castle, make it inside of a nice dark lit area here. Well, we should probably sleep. How far away do we come from spawn? Let's see. Oh, hey, there's a village. Okay. Let's go raid the village. After we raid the village, though, we're probably going to have to call it. That's probably going to be all the time we got for this episode. Oh, wow. Let's see here. <laughs> Carry my bed. I didn't get to find any wolves, but... I'm sure we'll find them out here somewhere. Oh, come on now. Gravel biome? That could be cool. I don't know what you need gravel for, but actually if you plan to do a lot of excavating lava and stuff like that, that'll be ideal. Man, what is going on with this lag? You done? You ready for me to play the game now? All right, let's see. Cows, cows, cows. We are not going to want for beefsteak, that's for certain. Now that we've rendered this village, though, hopefully we don't get all these villagers killed. Oh, that's cool. I like how the sunflowers all face one way. Towards the sun. Huh. That's cool. What is going on with my freaking recording now? Something. Right, we're going to go ahead and pause it here. I'm going to check up. And we are back inside the village. I just got here. Things are still kind of rendering a little bit here. And I think it's fraps that's causing me to have issues here. I need to check to see what's going on here. What is this going on here? All right, everybody, I am back. And darkness is about to fall, but I just saw a pup. A couple of them here. Hi. Ha! I got me a dog. Got me two dogs. Got me three dogs. That's good boys. sleep real fast here ha well that was the goal just find some pups now the lag got ridiculous back at that village 
So let's go ahead and just follow this way and find a way to go home. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and head on home here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the house. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get back there. Come on, pups. Yeah, we'll catch you all in a minute. All right, everybody, we are back. It took me quite a ways to get back, or quite a decent amount of time to get back to base. But look at that. We got four little buddies. And as soon as that one raises up, we'll have five or six, depending on how many I actually want to have. But finally within the base, the village ended up being a disappointment. There was no chests, no bookshelves, nothing. Almost like they didn't want me to do it. But the lag was somehow associated with the fact that I had the graphics on fancy. So as soon as I turned it off, I was fine. But yeah, so well, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. A little bit of exploration. There'll be plenty more exploration to come. We'll we'll do a few videos of builds, a few videos of exploration around there because there's a lot of stuff. I found a second witch hut, so I can have two witch farms relatively close to each other, which is going to be crazy awesome. And we're going to go ahead and say our goodbyes here. Bye. Take it easy. Hope you had a good time. Until next episode.